previously on Broyne's Farm. Sorry about that. Wait for it. You can hear it coming through the pipe. There it goes. Beautiful. I'm gonna get out of here before I get wet. I definitely had a mouse nest somewhere in one of the first pipes because that one was just clogged and it opened back up. But you can see this one is clogged right now. That one's clogged and probably about two or three others out there are clogged up. So I'm gonna go through with a little bit of a, a little wire and poke it down in there, try and get it loosened up. If not, we're gonna have to shut the whole line down and redo it. Okay, so here we are the next day. We actually ended up working on the irrigation into the night. And when I say night, I mean just after dark. It was probably about 8.30 till we got done. We got a mouse nest in the line somewhere and it really started clogging up all of our rain birds or risers, which is where the water shoots out of. So we had to shut down the line, take those rain birds out, put new ones in. That way we could just keep irrigating. Actually, at the very end, the last pipe all the way out there is completely packed full, which isn't a big deal because we're only watering half the field. But now I got to go through and pull these rain birds out and put them in out there. So that way I can put plugs in here and we can irrigate just the other half and now not this half. So we just got all the rain birds in. You can show them all the way out through there. And we got to the end of the pipe here. And this is our, our plug for the end. And it was completely just packed full with a mouse nest. All this right here was solid mouse nest. I don't know, it was like corn, grass, whatever. And still down inside here, it is completely packed full. It stinks. And this is all what's inside of it. And I gotta get this out of here so that way we can irrigate the second half of the field properly. But like I said, I might have to get a different tool because it's really packed in there from all the pressure of the water. Bunch of like nuts and stuff. Here it comes. Ew, look at all that. Oh, there it comes. There it goes. All that brown water from the from the mouse nest. Disgusting. Still coming out brown. The water coming out of the pond is filtered, so I mean it should be pretty clear. So I, that's not like the pond's muddy. That's just all from solid mouse nest. But it should be pretty cleaned out now for the most part. I'm gonna put a rain bird back in here, put the end plug back in and we should be good to go. You put WD on this? Yes, I did. Good. We've over the years we've had a lot of trouble with these plugs blowing out. So we put it in there and then wrap wire around it. That way it cannot come off. So we just got out here to the Briggs Blues Fest. You can see the block there for our fire pit that we got. Not many vendors are set up here yet. It's still pretty early. That whole center will all be filled. There's all the bathrooms up there. There's the parking lot on the hill by that chicken barn. 
Then over on the left here is the big concert area. You can see that big dome shaped thing. That's where the band will play. And on the left is where everybody will sit. Over there is another concert area that's a kind of like a smaller stage. So I didn't get the video much laying pipe because we were in a hurry to get out here to the Blues Fest. Right now it's pretty busy, but a lot of the people are underneath that tent, which is a smaller stage. And over there, where you can see all those pop ups, is the huge stage. And so right now everybody's listening to concerts. There's two different ones going on. And once they let out, is when it gets really busy for us because they all want to grab their corn and whatever other food they want to get and then get back to their seats. So, let me through here, Sammy. What we're doing is we have our corn, we'll lay it out on here, cover it with our lap, and then once it's done, we put it in this cooler. Right now it's full of steaming hot corn. That way it's ready for when the big rushes of people come out and then we can hand, we can suck it for them and hand it to them. So we've got these really nice big yeah, black gloves that can take up to like 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So that way I can work with the corn and not scald my hand. Here's my burlap. So now the reason the water is yellow just from the corn Basically we're steaming it so we put water in because the fire obviously evaporated I got all my corn on there. I got the fire going. I'll take my burlap. Yeah, I'm And I'll lay it over top. Does it? And make sure I cover all the ends. <laughs> like that. I like to have it double layered over top. And then once I get it covered like that, you don't see any corn sticking out. I'll take it put a layer of water over top of that. And then it's good to go. So then we have Trevor. He's the official corn husker. Show him how you're doing here, Trevor. So right now you can kind of see the steam coming out. These are done. And I'll show you how they're done and when we know they're done. Okay, Trevor, grab an ear. So he'll grab an ear just like so. In this pot, so he uses gloves. They're also heat treated gloves. Peel back just like that. They'll get dropped on a plate. And then that's how it will get sold. And then it gets put on a paper plate and then the customer can come over here and we have Old Bay butter and these yellow containers, pepper, salt, and then uh, the Briggs actually has their own green hot sauce, which they can put on as well. Another big thing is that I need to make sure my fire is going really well. You can see I have a really nice bed of hot coals underneath there because I basically want to have this water boiling at all times while there's corn on there. Okay, so the corn is now done. So I'm gonna throw it in this cooler. Stop it, I love it! Go! Stop! <laughs> Sammy, get up closer. 
So you can see how the water is bubbling nice. It's got that brown color to it. So now I'll lift up my lid. That's it, now my cooler's full. Close that and it'll kind of cook in there longer now just because all that heat's gonna stay inside of there. So it was nice they let us park our truck here, get some free advertising for the farm. A lot of people said that they were gonna come to our farm market and buy some corn because they really liked it. And I'm videoing here because I'm actually, between batches I got behind, it's starting to get really busy now and we can't even keep up. As soon as Trevor's done with this, it's gonna be another 10 minutes and that's gonna be out in about two minutes. The big headliner Saturday night was Kenny Wayne Shepherd, and a good buddy of ours took Sammy backstage for a little bit and showed her around. <laughs> Okay, so it's coming towards the end of the day now. The last day of the... Where did you guys get this corn from? <laughs> this is some good corn. Here's Andrew Oaks from the Veggie Boys. This, this is, is the best oh. corn I've had all day. I'm not allowed to say that. <laughs> oh, smokes, I get a bad out of here. <laughs> so, this is the last day. We had a great day, great weekend. Um, great band, just finishing off the day. We sold a ton of corn. We have a little bit left, but not a ton, so. That's what we're going to call it a wrap for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching. And always remember it ain't much, but it's honest work.